Jordan Sponge Murphy here. So back with another update video for my Stormcast Eternal Liberators. Uh, as you remember, I have a challenge set for this one: is to get the whole unit of these finished. Um, I unfortunately I didn't get a whole lot done this week for him, but I did get uh, a fair bit done today. Um, I got a lot of kind of the smaller details that need to be done. So um, so let's have a quick look. First, I'll show you the guys in the back. Um, if you remember last last update. I I only had nine of these guys, um, I couldn't find one of them, but I found them. I found two actually. Um, he was in a box that, and I tried. I was like practicing painting white armor, so I stripped him, and I still have the other guy that came free with the white dwarf. So I found a guy that was missing. He, I only just based him there, uh, like about an hour ago, or not even that, and I based him black. To see, um, just to see if it works with the metal, because uh, which I'll get into it later, um, and I I found that extra guy I had as well, so I can get him done as well. So uh, I'll show you the guys at the back first. Um, now the problem I had was I base everything white, and um, and I think the armor was coming out a little bit too bright when I was trying to highlight it, even after the Newland oil wash. So with these guys. Um, this is like like I did it in like two batches, so like the first four, and then the next, then the next six, then it will be. Uh, I'll get done after them. So like I just did the base colors and all with them as I was going along. So what I wanted to do was put um, what's the name of the color I had? It's not lead belcher. Oh, this is lead belcher. Sorry, lead belcher on it, like base color of that, and then instead of just one null and oil wash, I put two on to really. Let's see if you can get a yeah, you get a really, really dark looking metal, which looks really, it's almost like a black metal type of effect on it, but it's really nice. Uh, with the two coats, it, you know, it doesn't pull up as much, well if it does, it doesn't really show. It just almost looks like just black armour, which is really nice looking. So I'm, I'm hoping that when I do the next kind of layer of um, the other metal, what was it, iron breaker, hopefully it'll look a bit nicer. Um, with the other guys then, to be honest with you, most of these are nearly done, there's just a lot of small details to be done on them. Um, I still haven't got around to doing the hammers yet. Now the plan was for the shields, this is what kind of took me a while today, I wanted to do like a really kind of, like a bright glow effect going down along the shield, but it wasn't really working. So, um, you know, I could I could do it, but I'd have to like practice it out, nail it down, cause um, I want these to be like good show quality. So it wasn't working. So what I did, dude, this, <laughs> this is the only problem I have. I think it's this one. Yeah, you see these two. One of them has a slightly brighter color. One of them has a a darker blue on the shield and on the shoulder pad up there. Uh, this one here is ultramarine blue, and this one here. Um, this this is the problem. If I can mix it right, I'm pretty sure it's enchanted blue, ultramarine blue, and uh, it's another darker blue. Uh, not regal blue. Um, maybe it is regal blue. I can't remember. But um, or enchanted blue, enchanted blue, enchanted blue, ice blue. I think it could be. Um, you know, it's a mixture. I'm gonna have to figure out again. I think the brighter blue looks nicer, especially on the shoulder pads. Um. But if I did it with the just ultramarine blue, it would be easier to paint. Um, so I'm kind of in two minds, but for now I'm hinting at getting that mixture right for the shields. Um, and I kind of, I highlighted the higher parts of the metal. You see like the breastplate there. Maybe you might be able to see. It's a bit brighter. Um, you know, kind of the darker depths of the armour in underneath the, the upper part there you can see. Kind of in the middle above the waist is it darker or not? So, um, and I did the gold. Uh, now the gold I got, I didn't. I wasn't thinking much about it. I don't find it. Um, I just picked it up in the shop and I was looking around because I had a voucher too. So I got a couple of pants and a couple of brushes. Brushes. Got a couple of brushes, and I got Liberator Gold. Um, now I think. Now I just put the Liberator Gold. It's 
it's a layer paint so I just kind of thought it would be fine to go over the white base coat and I think and this is now this is with a uh, Devlin no not Devlin but Jesus Christ I'm going back in time here Agrax or shade wash so you can see it on the shoulder pads full of focus there you go and know I know they need a little bit of tidying up to be done as well on some of the shoulder pads but I think that gold effect it's not like bright gold it's kind of a darkish brown gold you can see it on this cloth there as well and on the this kind of belt buckle piece I think it looks really really nice so it's making me kind of wanting to go out and get a base colour for this as well to see what it would look like after it with a brown wash over it it looks really nice and then I put kind of silver highlights along the edges of it as well so you might be able to see them on it there um, you know I'm happy with how they're turning out I was kind of when I started I think I started just before lunchtime today and when I was putting the silver highlights on the la sorry, the silver layers it wasn't really looking well and you ever just get like a hobby block where you have to just go away for a while so I went away for about half an hour got some lunch came back then I just burst on through, I got the blues done. I think once I got other colours done, it really started to fit together. So, um, yeah, so these are looking pretty good to be on track. Um, I only got like one day this week to work on these. So hopefully next week I'll get, you know, two more days at least. Just to burst through them. Because like by next week I should have these done. And then I can like make a good start on the guys in the back. Um, and then I'm going to have to do this guy... This is the guy I'm saving. I haven't started him yet. He's like the leader guy. There is two of them. So I don't mind painting one of them. Because if I wanted to do like a let's paint video. You know showing how I painted it. I wanted to be this guy. So um, I left him separate. Just to make sure I know what colours to use. And to nail down. Instead of doing like a trial and error type of thing with these. So um, yeah. So the Liberators. They're coming out pretty good now at the end of the day. Well at the end of this day. A uh, little bit of a heavy block this morning, but they're coming together. Um, the hammers I haven't really thought about. If they're just going to be plain silver, I'd imagine they will, but um, I don't know. I'll see. I'll have a look around. I'll have to Google some pictures of uh, Stormcast Eternals and everything and have a look. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm on track for the end of the month to get these done for definite. Um, Make sure to leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Uh, especially for which blue, the darker blue or the kind of lighter blue. For now I'm going for the lighter blue. Uh, but I'm just going to have to get a mixture. I should be able to get it like, pretty close. Like, you might not be able to tell the difference too much. Um, like From a distance it would be fine. So uh, yeah, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching. See you guys next update.